Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. And we're making another trip back to the barn. So actually I'm going down here to see if uh, we have any old springs from a Mustang that my brother might have had before. That way I don't have to cut up my stock springs and I'm hoping that if there are some, like I said, I'm gonna cut those and lower my car temporarily with those until I figure out what I'm going to do later. If any of you guys saw the Fox Body video before about all these parts that I'm selling, these wheels up here and stuff, I've still got those. I haven't sold them, so if you want them, let me know. And right off the bat, I don't see any springs stock. Mustang K member and control arms stock headers there's some springs right there actually I bet those are Mustang springs I only see those look like rears though maybe I'm not really sure so I didn't find any springs well I found some front ones but I was really hoping that I'd find a whole set, so I guess we'll fast forward to the garage. So I'll see you at the garage. Alright, so we're up here at the garage. And let me put a light on. Alright. So, I'll give you a sneak peek of the car. I actually went and had it buffed. So it's clean now. I'll probably do an update video on it later with all the, how the buffing turned out. So this, I think, is what I'm going to try to fit on that Dodge. So that's what we're going to do, hopefully. There's one little thing that I'm not sure about. I actually got the radiator on. So you guys missed out on the radiator install and I, I know that I'm bad at putting this uh, GoPro at angle in the whatever I know that I'm bad about putting the frame right not putting the frame right when I point at something with the GoPro so I apologize I'm eventually going to try to get I'm eventually going to try to get a uh, different camera for filming stuff around the house but this is what I got to work with right now so not sure where I'm going to put this thing now right, we're just going to put you guys there for now maybe you can see something This is what I'm not sure about. So maybe we can take and tap that thing into the other pipe or something. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. So I'm gonna put you guys back over here again.
I got it apart. And the stupid sockets keep falling off the ratchet. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna cut you guys off so that it doesn't run too long. And I'll bring you guys back whenever I figure out what I'm about to do. So I'll be back. All right, guys. I'm glad that I cut the video off for a while because it took me forever to figure out what I was gonna do. But this is what I come up with. I know it's not the greatest thing. I couldn't get rid of this because of the idle air control sensor right there. And uh, that breathing hose over there. So if I bought a code air kit, then it would. But this is just what I had lying around. So that's what's going on it right now. I might get actual one for this truck later on but that'll do for now i guess it's just a 4.7 so i ain't really worried if it makes a difference or not so thanks for watching this i'll catch you in the next one guys as always stay humble